And the Jeopardy Tournament of Champions finals continues tonight. Grossly excessive, like tuition at the Ken Jennings School of Necromancy and Horticulture. Ben. What's exorbitant? Yes, but uh, we have very high costs. <laughs> You're the problem with higher ed. Now Ben got that question right, and there was that back and forth between uh, St. Norbert professor Ben Chan and Ken Jennings from last night's show. Unfortunately, he fell to third place after a gutsy double jeopardy wager by Troy Meyer. Meyer's now tied with Ben at one game apiece. We've all been watching it. Ben joins us now live via Zoom to share more about his experience so far in the tournament. Ben, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Pete. Ben, I, I mean, this is a tournament of champions. How is it going up against these two guys? These guys are good, right? Yeah, these guys are good. They're both world champion quizzers. Um, I didn't know that it was a thing before <laughs> about a year ago, but they're both good. They're really sweet guys, but um, it was a really new and cool experience um, playing with people of that caliber. And, um, you know, I think we're uh, the best way I can describe it, it's kind of like an intellectual knife fight. That's what it feels like up there. It's um, we're all getting <laughs> we're all getting beat up a little bit. Yeah. How did you prepare for this particular tournament? Um, this one, you know, I just continued reading the news, paying attention, you know, if somebody's nominated for Grammy or something like, you know, when I was watching the Oscars the other night, I was like, oh, you know, Emma Stone or uh, Billie Eilish just won again. She's pretty young. Is she the youngest ever to win two, you know, two Oscars? So you, your mind just gets in a place where you're, you know, the sort of things that would be interesting to Jeopardy writers and you're kind of soaking that up. Um, as you move through the world. So you're always doing that on a daily basis. You know, yeah, I, it's hard I, to kick, hard to kick. Now, we'll talk a little bit about last night's game, but let's talk about Tuesday. Two, that was unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I was at home and I yelled like it was a Packers game. When you, <laughs> everything came together for you, were you like shocked? Were you surprised? Yeah, like I said, those guys are so good. So, you know, what happened was I was in third place. Um, the second place fellow, I. Yogesh, I knew he was probably going to bet zero because that gave him actually the best chance to win. He, he needed first place to be wrong, right? But both he and I really weren't expecting that. He even wrote something on his podium congratulating Troy yeah. because he figured Troy would get it right. And so he was shocked when Troy got it wrong. Um, I was shocked when Troy got it wrong. It wasn't, uh, and I looked, they call it the Bob Barker wager in Jeopardy. I think I bet to be $1 ahead of second yeah. place. Yeah, and it to... wound up working out. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I, I was <laughs> impressed that you figured that out in the in the, uh, in the break. You know, all that oh, stuff. Yeah. Uh, is there a different? Is there a way to press a buzz, buzzer? Do you have a special way? Um, I thought I did. <laughs> and then <laughs> I ran into these two guys and saw that uh, my special way was less special <laughs> than I thought it was. Um, <laughs> but I think that what what some of the other contestants say is like, you never figure it out. It's it comes and goes. This is a rhythm thing because there's, there's a human being on the other side also activating the, um, the buzzer, like oh. activate when, it, you know, making it possible to buzz in. So the person, that person's timing can change, your timing can change. And it's really, you'll see it, people go on streaks with the buzzer. Um, uh, the show's recorded ahead of time. A lot of folks don't know how many shows are recorded at one time. Can you tell us? Yeah, there are five typically five shows that are recorded in uh, one day. So what you saw last night, a little behind the scenes, which is fine for me to share, uh, that was actually the fifth the fifth game that day. Um, we're all exhausted. Oh. Maybe I might have actually shown it more than the other guys. So the, the, the game you're seeing tonight will be our first game of the day wow. in, real, in real life. Wow. Was, so you yeah. had some rest there, huh? Yeah, I had a little bit of rest before this one. Um, how about your students? I mean, you're a philosophy professor at St. Norbert. Do they treat you any differently now that you've been on Jeopardy? Um, not really. I mean, I think the, they're, they're, they, the one thing that I get a lot, get the most, is um, my grandmother would love a picture with us together. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that I'm... I'm much more popular with the grandparents now. And today, you were uh, informing me before we got on the air, it's Pi Day, right? 3.14. Oh, yeah, National Pi Day, 3.14159265358979, et cetera. I so wasn't going to ask slow, you that, just, but you know, you're yeah, a Jeopardy just... <laughs> champion, so you had, to, you had to do it. Ben, thanks so much for joining us, and, and good luck. And, and I think you're a great local celebrity, so keep taking those pictures for grandma and stuff, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you, Ben.